fifth grade, we are going to be making some shapes in what we call one point perspective for your next project. So the online Google Classroom part of this project is you watching this video and then answering the questions in the attached Google form. And then the art making part of this project is what we will be doing on Zoom. Okay, so um, you wanna make, make sure that you're doing both parts of this project. So first of all, what is perspective? There's a couple of different definitions for perspective. The one is the art of drawing solid objects on a two-dimensional surface so as to give the right impression of their height, width, depth, and position in relation to each other and when viewed from a particular point. And so, you know, if you think about it, you know, if you're looking at a box, you're sitting in your seat, you're looking at a box or a cube, you know, you would only see certain sides of that box from your perspective or from your viewpoint. You wouldn't see all six sides of it at once, right? So drawing in perspective is drawing the correct sides of that cube that you would see from your point of view or from your perspective. And obviously it can also, like I just said, mean your um, point of view, a particular attitude toward or way of regarding something, or like I said, your point of view, and you can relate that to um, ELA. Okay, so there's linear perspective in art. Basically, this is a tool that artists and architects developed during the Renaissance to make artwork look more realistic. So it's used in drawing buildings, and we're gonna use it in drawing shapes or letters, or it can be drawn um, used in, in drawing um, artworks that have um, people incorporated into them as well. So there are multiple types of perspective. This year we will only talk about one point perspective. So that's the most simple form of perspective, but there is two and three point perspective and you can see the whole way up to five point perspective. I would say that I've only ever drawn um, one, two, and maybe three point perspective. Um, the other, other types of perspective are not quite as common, but do exist. Okay, so there are some basics with one point perspective and I will be going over these with you on Zoom, but just so you have an idea about what you're gonna be working on, for this cycle, we're gonna be drawing shapes or um, letters in one point perspective. And so um, for this one, it says you need a horizon line and this is where the sky and the land meet. And if we were in the art room, I would have you look out the window and look at the mountains out there in the sky. And the, the very line where the sky and the land meet together, that's what we call the horizon line. And the horizon line is horizontal, just like that line you see there on the, the video, right? It goes from right to left, side to side, perfectly straight, right? Okay, so we have our horizontal horizon line. Um, and then you wanna have a point. And this is what we call the vanishing point. And typically that goes in the center. You could put it off to the side a little bit. Um, and this is where everything appears to disappear. Um, meaning like, right, that's why we call it the vanishing point. And so we will only have one vanishing point for this project. That's why it's called just one point perspective because we only have one vanishing point. But you know, as you grow up in different types of perspective, you can add more vanishing points. But like I said, just one for us. Okay, so then we'll be drawing shapes. You can draw rectangles, squares, you can even draw rounded shapes. You can draw circles, ovals, hearts, stars. You can also draw letters, um, bubble letters, around your vanishing point. And oh, and notice in this one, oops, Notice in this one, some of the shapes are gonna go, you can draw them above the horizon line, some below the horizon line, and some even on them. And that's gonna change the way that they look in one point perspective as we move forward. Then you're gonna be drawing a line from each corner of, that, of those shapes and connecting the line between the vanishing point and the corner. And that is what allows you to determine which sides of those shapes you're gonna be able to see from your perspective, okay? Using your vanishing point that you picked. Okay, so here's some examples of what I'm talking about, some shapes. And we'll 
talk more in detail, but you can see there's some cubes and cylinders, star, heart. So we're basically turning shapes into 3D forms. We're gonna make the illusion that they are three-dimensional forms using this trick of one point perspective. You can also add letters. You're welcome to do your name, but um, ours will probably mo look more like what you saw on the last page. And you know, we're just gonna be drawing these with pencils um, and erasers, but I always encourage you guys to color these in using any materials that you have available to you. Some more examples for you. And that's it. All right, so go ahead and answer the questions on the Google form, and then I will see you on Zoom for your art class to draw these together. Bye.